I'm Jane Goodfellow. Welcome to Cochlear TV. In this episode, we head to Jakarta to look at Indonesia's first ever cochlear training and experience centre. Next stop, Malaysia, where young implant recipient Olivia and her mother share their experiences with us. And you'll hear more from me as I share some top tips to get you comfortable using the phone. So sit back and enjoy the show. As many as 5,000 children under 3 years old are estimated to have severe to profound hearing loss in Indonesia. Kasum Hearing partnership with Cochlear Limited established Cochlear Training and Experience Center in February 14, 2015. We aim to be the leader in providing audiology and rehabilitation services as well as training center for professional both in Indonesia and in Southeast Asia. Uh, I'm Ricky Alfred and I now right now I'm 19 years old. I'm using N5 and I'm using implant only on my left side. My parents know that I was born there when I was 20 months and I got the surgery at 3 years old. Then along 20, from 20 months until 3 years old I'm using uh, hearing aids and for 9 months in using hearing aids I just learned 25 words and then after implant I'm using, I can learn 5000 words. Then the implant is very effective for me. Without hearing, I cannot play drum because playing drum is a music. I need to hear the tempo, I need to hear the guitar sound, vocal sound, piano, something like that. So if I cannot hear, I cannot play drum. Yeah? Imagine if I am not hearing. I just sitting in here, I just saw the, my family conversation. I just sitting in here and I'm thinking, why I cannot join the competition because I cannot hear it. So with Cochlear Implant, with, uh, I can hear, it's a very, very happy, make me happy to join the competition and also with my friends. Imagine if you could only imagine the sounds of cricket, the sounds of life. If you, your friends or your family have trouble hearing, take our free online hearing assessment. Hear the sounds of cricket, hear the sounds of life. Some people with cochlear implants find talking on the phone difficult and avoid it at all costs. If this is you, here are some tips to make you feel more comfortable using the phone. When you're holding the phone, Find the sweet spot by slowly moving the handset close to the mic. This might take a moment or two. Many people with hearing difficulties use volume controlled phones so that they can adjust the sound for their needs. And some hear better when they put the phone on speaker. When you start out, try to work with someone you know well and whose voice is very familiar. Ask them to call and see if you can identify some common words. Then move on to identifying some common phrases. Once you can do this, try a short conversation. It's hard work at first, but you'll see the difference. Olivia was first diagnosed with hearing loss when she was one and eight months old. That time we was very depressed and we didn't know what to do until an audiologist informed us about the cochlear implant that can help deaf to hear. There's a chance for her to hear, so why don't we give her a try? So we just sent her uh, to see a team of specialists to, to see whether she's the right candidate for her cochlear implant, and then thank God she was. The first implant, we were very anxious. We didn't know the risk. And we didn't know whether uh, she, her brain can accept the cochlear. And then we was very excited as well because we know she can hear better. After she got her first cochlear implant, we can see a huge improvement on her speech development and also hearing. You, uh, she can have a very close bonding with us as a parent. 
she understand what we talk and then she we, we feel connected with that and that was really a special gift for us it was for bringing the cook tulip roots instead of onions now who can tell me how many nouns i heard that yes 18 correct and who can tell me how many verbs And that's all for this show. We hope you've enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Next time on Cochlear TV, we'll be checking out the new Baja 5. So make sure you join us. I'm Jane Goodfellow. Until then, goodbye.